M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I had a question from someone asking, what is promiscuous mode? Promiscuous mode allows you to listen on the same frequency to all the talk groups that are programmed to that frequency, regardless of the talk group that is on, on the display. So let's just say you're displaying talk group 91, like it's showing here, talk group 91 there. Now, this, this Retivis RT3S at the moment is set to allow all talk groups through, so effectively promiscuous mode. Now, if I change the setting to not allow that, you watch what happens. At the moment, we've got slot one coming through on talk group 91. Thank you. Uh, Just turn it out. So if I go menu, down to utilities, radio settings, go right down now. On this radio, it's called group match, group core match, group core match. And at the moment, it's turned off, so it doesn't have to match to the correct group, talk group that's coming through. But if I turn it on and say, right, you do have to match, which is the normal mode, turn that on, I'll go back. Now you're hearing it at the moment, but if I, that's because I'm on the, the same talk group and slot, but if I change to a different slot, Two. turn it up, you can't hear a thing because promiscuous mode is not enabled. So it's not letting through different talk groups and different slots. But if I go back one, one. let's just get to the right one. Four. Uh, Norway, Iceland, Greenland, Ireland, the UK, uh, Belgium. France. So on the Anytone, for example, promiscuous mode as, and it's quite small to see, and I'm going to try and show you if I can zoom right in. See at the top there, you've got a tiny little red speaker at the top, just about here, just below there. And in front of it are two lines. The reason there are two lines is because promiscuous mode is turned on, but in this, with two lines, it's allowing slot one and slot two through. It's still allowing all talk groups through as long as they're on the same frequency. So with the Anytone, you can it, set a button to go on mine. If I hold it down, that's Digi monitor off. So promiscuous mode is now off. If I hold it down once, you get the red speaker appear and you have one line in front. That's, so that's allowing all talk groups and slot one. Push it again, you get a second line appear. So the thing about promiscuous mode, is it doesn't let through all the color codes. Color codes are effectively your CTCSS that you have like if you want in analog mode. So you do have to set that and it tends to be color code one on your hotspot. And uh, a lot of repeaters that I've seen use color code three, but it does vary depending on, on you know, where they are. The, the idea of color codes is to stop, you know, another station that could come in that's, that's just near enough to the, say, repeater to, to be on the same frequency or maybe with extreme weather, um, you know, radio conditions. Uh, to, so if they're on color code one and, and the other one's on color code three, you're not going to hear them. It's not going to cause problems. So promiscuous mode... It isn't. It doesn't let through all channels. That's that's definitely not the right way to term it. It lets. They still have to be on the same channel, or you're not going to hear them. Channel meaning the frequency you've programmed into the channel in your DMR code plug or or on your radio. But with promiscuous mode, you can let through both slots. Generally, like the the Retivis lets through both slots. On the Anytone, you have to select it. Even on the HD1, you've definitely got promiscuous mode here. I'll see if I can find it a sec. I think you go menu, you go down to band A or B. We're going to do A. Go down, and then I'm pretty sure you've got promiscuous mode there. Eventually. Right at the bottom. There, it's promiscuous mode. On or off. So we turn that on. It's going to let through both, both slots and all the talk groups. That you said, but you still have to program them into your into your hotspot. They they can't just you know that, that's as, that's my experience. They still have to be in your hotspot as channels, but it's going to let them all through. So if I'm wrong, let me know. But that's my understanding of promiscuous mode. All three of these radios do do promiscuous mode. This is the newest model of the RT3S, which I've also got with 
just just to show you out of interest with the new open gd 77 firmware if you've not seen that yet fascinating it's free firmware and it just makes the radio so much easier look you can just go menu like so just get my hand in there push the hash talk group entity type where you want to go say i want to go to two three five zero hit the green and key and it will and it will take me there and it will keep me there as well it's, i mean it's even got if i go into vfo mode that's vfo and we're in yeah in fm if you want to go dmr you just hold the red but watch this come on it's even got a band scope <laughs> and when you go into the menu you've got gps zones contacts channels firmware last heard satellite mode if you get the correct things in there you're going to be able to actually track the satellites and then when they're near you it will tell you it has like a window um which i haven't even begun to learn how to use yet a window like this and then you'll see the satellite appearing as it comes over you and you can talk you know fingers crossed if you if you manage to get it so there you are dmr radios i mean they're like toys aren't they they're like literally like get yourself a toy for christmas get another dmr radio you can literally never have too many dmr radios in my, in my opinion they're inexpensive and they're great fun. And with DMR, there's so many cross links. And if you get an open spot three, you know, for example, this open spot three here, see if I can get it on uh, working while we're, while we're at it. Let's just put this into um, my correct zone. So we'll go back into channel mode, zone. Let's go up to the zone. We'll choose my open spot zone. Right, we're going to hear that now. Now, if I get my phone that I'm controlling it with. So, look, we're on DMR. Watch this. So, go quick setup. We're on the Open Spot 4 Pro. We're on a DMR radio. This is a DMR radio. And let's say we want to go to YSF. And we can do D-Star, you know, everything. Reflectors, YSF, you name it. We can do it with this device. CQ UK, let's hit it. Uh, have a listen. We're just on, on, on the radio, it's just talk group nine. And now we're on CQ UK, and I can, because it's the open spot four, I can actually transmit on the open spot four. I will show you that. But let's just get an audio test. Oh, someone's there. Let's see if we can. Oh, there's some people there talking. Let's do D-Star. Let's do D-Star. Quick set. D-Star. No, actually, we're on a, we'll start again. Quick set. DMR. Reflector. 30 Charlie. Make sure you haven't got two things connected to the same place. And it will switch now to D-Star. Open spot connected to R-E-F-0-3-0 Charlie. We need someone speaking, of course. And if we do want to use the app, the way it works is you go like so, select the app, click play. It does switch, so there's a, there's a bit of time where it's switching. Then you start listening on the actual phone. And if you want to change the quickest way, a bit bright that is, isn't it? Let's just dim that down a bit. Clear all these messages, all right. Okay, so settings, three dots, then settings, and then all you do is put in, where's it gone? Source, just needs extra settings at the moment. Yes. Right, I'm going to have to end the video, so bye for now. 7-3, please like and subscribe, all the best.